Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to peek over my shoulder as I try to make sense of Primordia. Uh, so last night I got stuck uh, with the problem how to uh, how to attach the bomb uh, to the dome door, namely this dome. Just roll off. Okay, and let's see what Crispin says. So, uh, so, so the solution was actually very, very simple. Good old Crispin. You know, boss, we still haven't looked inside that dome we found. <laughs> no kidding. Boss, do you hear a clicking sound? <laughs> Could you please stop bothering me? I'm trying to finish this level of Zgred. What? You know, that puzzle game you installed on me when you built me. But look, you have your puzzles, I have mine. <sighs> Haven't heard that one. Sorry, boss, I've got sand in my audio <laughs> receptors. I'll let you know when it's out. So, yeah, while trying to figure uh, the situation out, I have been basically hopping uh, back and forth between all the locations and trying to rob everything on everything. Uh, got some hilarious uh, responses as a result. Boss, I think the gospel requires you to give me a minute's peace now and then. <laughs> okay, I just have to wait until he says it. Let's, let's go to the robot. Maybe that will trigger the... There's no way I can reach that. Okay. I'm going to leave them in place. Yep. Okay. Boss, sometimes a builder just has to let his creation figure things out for himself. <laughs> I'm your builder, Crispin. I know. That's what makes this particularly sad. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the ship. Some very sticky grease. Uh huh. You know, boss, we still haven't looked inside that dome we found. Say it about the bomb, Crispin. So basically, uh, as usual, Crispin uh, dispenses you uh, useful advice, uh, but it's uh, it can be if you do, if you don't uh, put two and two together, then it's sort of difficult to figure out what he's uh, talking about. Boss, are you ever going to do anything about that oil leak? Yes, after we recover our power core. Now he's making excuses. <laughs> so basically, uh, he gives you the hint that uh, the rag we shoved up the uh, giant robot's uh, nose is quite sticky. And then he says that uh, maybe we should try the same with the bomb. And then he says in this uh, special echo voice, and I don't mean shoving up at nose, or something like this. So the solution is that simple. Well, now it's a sticky bomb. Aha. Uh -huh. So let's get to the door. Of course, after we have stuck the bomb door, I suspect that we still have to detonate it with this uh, mm, transmitter or something. But right now, allow me to save. Can I use numbers? Oh, no, I can. So, let's put it there. Sticky bomb. There we go. Hopefully I can remotely detonate the bomb. Crispin, get back. Do I still... Oh, I still need the code. Oh, fuck. Um... Oh, it's 4D 
digits. If I replace B with 8, maybe that will work. So it's 8, 3, 2, 5. figured out the easy part, the code part is still tricky. <laughs> the bomb's in place. Now I just need to find a way to detonate it. Uh-huh. First thing. You know, something. boss, didn't Alpha, or was it Beta, mention something about a detonation prefix? Oh, okay, so I will, let me try this. I will stick, uh, Think of two numbers I can stick uh, detonation prefix or six in front of the Crispin, get back. Bombs number, so it would be six and the others. Oh hey, it worked! Ooh, I told you that paperweight would be helpful. <laughs> no, you said it was explosive. I'm pretty sure that explosive and helpful are synonyms, boss. Right. Well, let's see what we've opened up here. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Of course, now that I've got my numbers back, uh, there's going to be a lot of compulsive saving. Think Big Ugly's in there? If he is, so is our power core. Maybe we should... Go back and get another <clears throat> bomb from the shrine first. We don't need a bomb, and we don't want him to get any farther away. Come on. What is this place? Sweet. I can't see anything to do with it. Can we just look at it? Totally unilluminating. <laughs> As usual. Who are you? I am official Metro Pass booth 47AB. You're a ticket dispensary, right? Negative. I am official Metro Pass booth 47AB. One ticket, please. Please use the scanner to your right. <laughs> Crazy talk. Okay. Is that really the best idea you can come up with, boss? Oh, hey, we just got in. Better just to leave it alone. Huh? Oh, okay. Nothing happens. So there is. All aboard. So? What's the plan, boss? There is no plan, Christian. <laughs> no plan and no choices. We need power, and there's nowhere left to look out here. Energy for all it is. Hooray! <laughs> I can't see anything to do with it. This 
just scrap. Metropole? Where's all the glass and light? <laughs> oh, here it is. It's a map of train lines and stations. Shouldn't we look around or something? What about the lights and uh, everything? Whoa! Some kind of blast crater. Yay! It's no longer operational. Crispin, would you do the honors? <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> so cool! <laughs> but I would totally do that. <laughs> and now I'm there. Who's this? Boss, is that really Metropole out there? It must be. But it's so brown. <laughs> I'd say it's more red than brown. Whatever it is, it brings new meaning to rust and ruin. It says blue line. Guess we won't be taking that train anytime soon. Okay, I probably missed something here. Boss, the energy sensor is going crazy. It's coming from the top of that tower. Supposed to be doing that? Uh -oh. Assad. Well, at least we know there's a lot of power in that tower, right? Let's go find out. Thunder. Welcome to Metropole, the city of glass and light. Can you tell me? This one is not programmed to respond <laughs> to queries. Welcome to Metropole, the city of glass and light. Metromind greets you with open arms and the promise of energy and shelter. Um, you are safe. Probably slavery. Records indicate an outstanding assessment of five megacycles. One megacycle will now be redeemed. Huh? What did you just do to him? This one is not programmed to respond to queries. Unauthorized literature detected. Let go of him! Hey! <gasps> You bitch! All contraband has been removed. You are safe. No. Boss. Uh, boss, this is getting to be a bad habit. Are you okay? I'm fine. My optical sensors went haywire for a minute. What happened? Well, that robot threw your gospel off the bridge, and then it said, Welcome to Metropole, again, <laughs> and that Metromind wishes us a pleasant stay. Then he left. Assad. On the upside, he gave us back the power core. He did? 
No. <laughs> Listen, the next thing that's getting thrown off this bridge is you. Good thing I have a hover unit. Let's go find a way into that tower. We'll deal with this metro mine later. I guess uh, we were just uh, foreshadowed with the final boss or something. There's no way I can reach that. It's pretty though. Let's go back here for a second. In case I And to think I was just starting to like that uh, little book. Let's see what do I have left. The entire thing is fried. Actually, wait a minute. The crystal and plug are still intact. Uh -huh. Please, for the love of Ram and Rom, tell me we are not <laughs> going to build a third energy sensor. I hope not. <laughs> So now we need some cable, some putty, and the screen, and the CPU. Easy. No, it's just this this is no time for sitting around. Of course not. Yet there are chairs everywhere. Okay, pew pew pew. Let's go check this place out. Hey, Tower, over here! Ooh, a bar! The mug belongs to the bar. Damn it. It's a... Boss, I need that arm. Crispin, it appears to be a self-aware robot. Now I need it even more! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> the adventures of Crispin and his arm! For once, I would have a sidekick. He would crack jokes, and I would say lame things like, It appears to be a self-aware robot. <laughs> Actually, on second thought, you can be the serious one, I'll be the sidekick. <laughs> so, uh, I read it from somewhere. Uh, I can't remember where, maybe it was TV tropes, maybe it was uh, some article on io9. It said that every... Uh, every decent dystopia needs a bar. It's like a staple. They belong to the bar. They belong to the bar. It's a price list for the oil, solvents, and catalysts they offer here. At the bottom it says that all payments must be made through an account with Metromind, which I don't plan on opening. <laughs> I want that mug. I'd have to buy something. It's a big blue cup. Hello. You see, I'm trying to spin down. Hey, Tara, over here. Uh, I don't really want to try that. We can't afford to waste time on every random robot we meet in Metropole. You know, Aww. boss, I really wish you applied that principle more consistently. <laughs> hey, Tara, over here. Oh, hey, little fella. Yeah, 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 I will come, but first I want to look around. Okay, so... Who knew some place could be so lively and so depressing all at once? <laughs> hey, Tara, oh, oh. <laughs> All storage bladders empty. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I want a tiny bug back. Hey, Tara, over here. Seems you're not It's too heavy for me to lift. Hey, Tara, over here. Yeah, yeah, I can turn. Yes. 
Yes. No. Anyone home? Hey, Tara, over here. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to accept it. This way. Hey, boss, look. That repair bot has a floating helper, just like you do. There's a red, burning, crashed hover bus and arriving electrical cable. And that's the first thing you notice. <laughs> I can't help it. She's beautiful. Oh. Well, you're not getting to her until we deal with this cable. So. I can't safely grab it. Uh, kids? Boss, even if there's some code to crack here so that we can understand what it's saying, I propose we just ignore it. Maybe, for once, the other robot can figure out how to communicate with us. Agreed. All storage bladder is empty. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the corner. Talk to this guy. I suppose he is uh, an important contact or something. Would it not have been better to have destroyed ourselves gloriously in battle? Rather than perpetuate oh. this false existence, what do you... Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> Boss, I think someone left the smart off that smart bomb. I wouldn't expect much conversation out of them. Hey, Not gonna oh. happen, Lampy. <laughs> He's a robot dragging chalk along the ground, Boss. I wouldn't expect much conversation. Wait a minute. I got this. Hey, Tyrell. Okay. There's nothing there to receive the signal. Huh. There's nothing there to receive the signal. Boss, I'm usually the last person to advise against setting off an explosive, but it seems a little crazy to <laughs> risk sending radio signals to a robot hey, shaped Tyrell. like okay. a bomb. Yeah, okay. Um, hello? Hi, Tyrell. You blow in off the dunes. Tyro? Prefer a newbie, huh? <laughs> Let me tell you how it is. How about you don't? I've had enough of this city already. All I want is my property back and a ticket home. Ticket home? <laughs> Fat chance, Tyro. Anyway, listen up. You wanna sell yourself the Metro Mine? Go ahead. You wanna trade that junk you brought in from the dunes? The opposed man. That float of that, I'll give you something special <laughs> for him. How special? He's not for sale. The only thing you might have that I want is information. Yeah, you know what they say. Talk to you, ask away. Who are you? Name's Leo. Leopold Steeplebill, version 7. You? Horatio Nobelt, version 5. And this is Crispin Horatio Belt, version 1. Leopold? Hey, you didn't build a lunatic named Ever Faithful, did you? My you question look exactly. Like I built someone named Ever Faithful Crispy. Crispy? <laughs> Who is Metro Mine? Who is Metro Mine? Russ and Ruin. You are a Tyro. Metro Mine? Well, Metro Mine is Metropole. Runs everything now. What with the council shut down? Council? Sure. A bunch of primordial machines. Arbiter and forcing law. The warriors kept the records. Big old fat that built just about everything from down in the underworld. Then, well, there's another one, I think. I don't even remember his name. And Metro, of course. She used to run the trains, but now she's got the whole show. Where can I find her? Like I said, Tyro, she is the city. So you found her already. Probably knocked yourself to her just to get here. Anyway, if she wants to talk to you again, you'll know. Hmm. I was robbed when I came off the train. Some robot paralyzed me and stole my gospel of man. Careful there, Tyro. If you read the rules, you'd have known Metro Man don't take kindly to superstition. Under the refuge rule, you've got two days to talk about make-believe man all you want. But actual writing about man? That gets tossed to the underworks with the rest of the trash and trouble. How can I get it back? Ha! <laughs> You're risking a hibbit of flaking on you, Tyro? <laughs> You'd have to do some digging down in the underworks, which ain't exactly easy. Then, even if you find it, you'll just be sticking your finger in Metro Mind's socket. Like I said, 
You got no time for heretics, lunatics, and the like. How about quick-witted levitators? Don't think she cares for them either. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has large claws and shoots lasers. Have you seen it? It stole something of mine. Sounds like Scraper to me. Scraper? Worked for Metro Mine even before she ran the show. He was the one that blasted out the train tunnels under the city. Where can I find him? Now, how would I know that? That one goes where he wants. Maybe the Great Tower, maybe the tunnels, who knows? But I wouldn't go pick in trouble with you, Tyro. Those lasers of Scraper use for cutting granite can slice up that tin shell you wear like nothing. Here, here. I'll keep that in mind. I'm looking for my power core. It was stolen from my ship, the Unique, and I think it's being kept in that tower over there. The Brave Tower, you mean? Hmm. Sure, it's probably in there, along with all the other generators and reactors and cores that keep the lights on. How can I get it back? If Metro Mind took it, you don't, Tyro. Her word is law. Arbiter's the only one who ever could have said otherwise. He's been gone a long time. Get to the courthouse, maybe you complete your case. After half a dozen other folks took their turns, that is. But you can't. The old judge locked it up tight. And who's to say you're with, huh? My advice? I don't want your advice. <laughs> I want my power core. <laughs> well then, the book to you. What are the underworks? A whole mess of junkyards, canals, mm. factories, smelters, sweet song, every kind of heavy machinery, all beneath the streets. Old factory ran the place. Built just about everything in Metropole down there. Ran the place. Who's in charge now? Nobody. Not since Metroman pulled the plug on Factor. Old place is full of junk and full of trouble. But for the latter, I don't think to clean. Well, boss, at least we can scratch one detour off our list. Seen one junk pile, seen them all. <laughs> Are you sure you don't know a robot named Ever Faithful? He called himself Leo Belt. I'm a peddler, Tyro, not a builder. Probably lies. Tell me about Arbiter. He's a member of the council. Heard he used to fight the metro line day and night. Ran the course. Back when we had him. One day he just sent his clerk Clarity down to the underworks and closed up shop. Ever since, Metro Mind says what the law is. How long ago was that? Who's count? <laughs> Tell me about Clarity. Clarity was one of Arbiter's law clerks. Real cool and calculating now. Once heard <laughs> say that a robot should have a recharge or the huge just cause it's stolen power from Metro Mind. Anyway. Word was she got in some kind of fight with the old judge and he sent her down to the underworks. And she's still down there still. How do I get into the tower? You don't. Council members only. And the only one still clicking are Metro Mind and Arbor. And let me tell you, neither of them is one for bending the rules. You don't believe in humanism? If you ask him whether I believe in man, <laughs> the answer's no. And you better not either. Not if you want to stay here. But how can you not believe in man? I'm a progressive, Tyro. <laughs> I believe in progress. Us robots improve ourselves. And that's how it's always been. First, there was a basic machine. And bit by bit, bite by bite, the machine built itself into all this. You and me, and that little floater of yours, we're all cogs in that same machine. And that's all it is. What are you selling? Barter, not selling. Hmm. That's your mind, don't tax barter. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Come take a look. Of course, at the moment, I don't know. Oh, of course. I don't know what I need yet. <laughs> okay. Find the area out of this. Find this, calculate, 
instrument? I'm fairly certain that my math coprocessor is superior. Okay. Ah, good spot there, Tyrell. She's a fine, fine microfuse. What's the catch? Well, she's drained. I guess that makes it free of charge. Uh, har, har, har. We'll pass. <laughs> okay. This here's a tape measure. Ooh, get it, boss, get it! Why do we need a tape measure? So I can finally determine my circumference. <laughs> Tyro, I'm gonna do us all a favor and not trade you this one. Hey, look, boss, it's a glass finger. If we got five of them, I could have a hand. What would you do with a glass hand? What wouldn't I do? <laughs> You're gonna have to bring me a glass thumb. Oh, go wipe yourself. Okay. This is a sterling air motor. Would it help me fly? Nope. Then we don't need it. <laughs> What fine motor you spotted there, Tyro. Foreign belt, out of Savitas. Can't do better. But if you can find a bigger one, let's talk. Okay. Oh, okay, so basically he's also stating what he might want to return. Boss, is that another battery? Looks like it. Finest double-A battery you'll ever see. <laughs> hey, we'll call it triple-A. It's so fun. Wow, that would have been useful to have before I went rummaging around a pile of tires in the junk pile. Now, not so much. <laughs> that there's an old Nova Robotics subsistence coil. Not interested. Okay. That servo unit is hopelessly broken. It just needs a little fixing up, Tyro. <laughs> I don't think so. That's a fine tool. Got a half-life of a <laughs> I'm not sure you know what half-life means. You want it or not, I'll trade it to you for something shiny. Well, I haven't brought a key my shinies for a moment. Now that's a nice one. It's called a memory access device. They should pull memories out of just about anything. What do you want for it? Got a customer looking for something real antique and fancy. Find me that, you got yourself a deal. Uh -huh. That old boy is a bug boy. I know what it is. Okay then. Bring you something that'll cover a face and it's yours. Good idea, Leopold. You'd look much better with a mask. Watch yourself, Chris. Anyway, we don't have time to go around building circuit boards. Famous last words, boss. <laughs> okay. Uh... That's a water chip. Scavenger brought it in from the dunes. I trade it for a gag. <laughs> what? Never mind. We don't need water, let alone a water chip. <laughs> Fencer is coming. Really well done. Okay, I think I've seen it. There's nothing worth bothering with. Okay, so you can do more here. Okay, I'm strong. Top me off, will you? Map exits. Anyone home? Is this another door? Anyone home? I guess not. Fine, fine. Put me down for another megacycle. of a conversationalist, huh, boss? Before we go to that uh, cable thingy, we should go this, uh, this direction. Well, boss, somewhere in there is our power oh. core. Okay, so this is where we would have to come back, I guess. Anybody home? You know, boss, I don't think that's ever going to work. You never know. Huh. <laughs> hey, dude. All storage bladders empty. Oh, you again. It's far too high to try climbing. Okay. Um. Christmas? Not gonna happen, boss. <laughs> Here. 
too heavy for me to lift. I guess uh, we would have to obtain the crowbar for this one. Hey Armstrong, top me off, will ya? Okay. I have no idea what I would have to do here. Um, block? I can't get close enough to try that. Everybody's just sort of randomly uh, moses around. Can't you do something about that cable? According to my work order, I gotta finish salvaging this bus first. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not my decision. Okay. I can't go any farther with that cable in the way. Yeah, I, I wasn't trying to. Don't bother her. <laughs> oh. The bus must have snapped the cable on the way down. Given the electricity it's spitting out, I can't get close to it. Too bad we can't just plug it into the unique. I'm not here to steal parts. Oh. I am disappointed. I can't get close enough to try that. Okay. This probably won't work. I can't harder. get close enough to try that. I can't get close enough to try that. Oh, okay. Kristen? The only thing keeping me from my one true love is that cable, boss. <laughs> Crispin, can you fly around the cable and push it off the street? Uh -huh. But didn't you just say it's too dangerous to get close to it? I'm giving you a chance to impress her, Crispin. <laughs> just fly up high enough that you don't get close to the sparks. Fine. Intensive and I need a break. So bye bye for now. You know, boss, the good thing about being in a big crowded city is that if I ever get bored of your company, there are plenty of other robots to talk to. That's sure. not a good idea. I'd always be remembered for bringing a virus to Metropole. Very funny, boss. Every time I, I try to end an episode, Crispin talks, so bye bye for now and see you later.